The biggest strength of the computer repair technology program and the certificate and degrees that we have is the quality of the education. We go from taking people that have absolutely no idea of what a digital multimeter is and move them through until that they are very well equipped to go out and into any entry level position. Many of our students entering the computer technology program come to us with no skills at all. It's, it's interesting to see how they, after two years, have developed these skills, have a full understanding of electronics, have an appreciation for electronics, have a better version of the computer itself. They've used computers at home to play video games. We now realize how important they are to our society. First semester is learning the mechanics. Starting with the second semester, you're, you're really starting to get more and more and more into the electronics until in the senior level you're reading schematics, you're um, looking at monitors, you're taking things apart, you're learning how to safely measure 30, 40,000 volts. We cover just about everything that a four-year school does in two years. So it's a degree program because it's 70 credit hours. Take more than just the courses in the curriculum itself. They'll take courses in physics or advanced science, they'll take courses in, in uh, mathematics. English courses, sociology, as well as course in network technology. With the Fox and the Hound, we use a plug-in, a Ethernet cable, one in, turn on, and when it's fine, it's outside. The skills required by most people that are successful in this field are problem solver skills and luck of skills. And they don't understand that they can't just look at a problem and say, well, I can't. I can't figure it out. I'm going to sit down and have to drive to take the time to figure it out. Our students tend to be what, what is called concrete sequential as opposed to intuitive. You do this, that leads to this, that leads to this, that leads to this, and it all makes sense to them. And using their hands it helps them understand what they're looking at and what they're doing. Our program is certified by the state of New York. Our students can go on to get a bachelor's, master's, whatever they want from this program. They have a, a wider range of skills. They're more accepted by industry as employable. The students who come out of here when they receive their degrees would take a wide variety of jobs. We have everybody, we have people that go directly into companies like IBM or what we used to be digital, things like that, the large companies. That has gotten a lot more difficult in this immediate area. So most of our people wind up with the mom and pop operations, uh, the small stores, or they wind up working to start off with a help desk. This latch comes from TVMT. Anybody want to guess what TVMT is? The uh, three full-time faculty in the computer repair technology program have over 90 years experience in the field. Uh, everybody in our department is a full professor, which means we at least have master's degrees. Most, in fact, all of us have multiple degrees. Every one of the faculty members in this particular department, in the computer repair technology department, have worked in the real world. So even though we're still teaching here, we still go back out on, uh, periodically and we'll take a consulting job and, and do work in the field. We also spend quite a bit of time going back to school or studying on our own so that we stay as current as possible with what's going on in the world today. And it's tied to ground. That means this chip is always selected. Students in the uh, computer repair technology program must leave here with a full understanding of the computer system, how it interacts, where it's come from, its history.